Hey, what's up? David here with After Video Effects and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be creating this composite scene using After Effects and Blender. And I just want to apologize to you guys for not posting in a while. I've just been busy with uh, university. So uh, now that I have some free time, I'm just going to focus that time to create these tutorials. So yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at what we're going to be creating. All right, so just a brief overview for what I did in Blender. So first thing I did was I imported this model from Video Copilot's Jet Strike Pack. And what I did was I first added some sun lamps, or sunlight, sorry. And I put one on this side and this one on the other side, but I think the intensity was halved. And I put this area lamp underneath so that we get some light underneath uh, the bottom here okay and just a brief overview of what I did in the uh, the environment so I believe uh, just give me a minute here yeah so I believe I used this environment texture I'll just I'll click transparent Yeah, so it was this environment texture that I used for the um, model here. I'll leave a link for where you could download this uh, environment. But yeah, that's the one I used. Um, okay, so just going back to our model here. What I did was, if I go into top view, you can see here that I've actually separated uh, my uh, plane and the like these like um, like propellers here. I don't think they're called propellers, but I'm just gonna call them anyway, just for the sake of the tutorial. But anyway, yeah, I separated them. So I just went into edit mode, duplicated it. I deleted it in edit mode. So if I go, so this was my original model. So if I go into edit mode, I just basically deleted everything other than the propel these propellers and then yeah that was it so we got like two separate objects inside of here so you can see that so all of this is one is all in this separate uh, object and you can see here the orange point is actually in the center so that when I rotate it it will rotate on this from this pivot point okay and if you can't see your propellers they're just inside of the ground assault okay the your object itself okay and okay so for the propellers I added some keyframes so that I get some rotation so if I go back into my solid view here you can see it's rotating and I didn't rotate this one because it was out of frame so didn't worry about that. So yeah, started from zero, hit I, oh yeah, hit I, and then get rotation. And then I think, I believe, I went all the way up to like, I don't know, um, tw 20 rotations for each one. Yeah, and then I just wiggled this um, plane here so that we get a nice uh, dynamic movement. And lastly, the camera view. So yeah, this is my camera view and I made sure that I rendered the region. So if we go here, just make sure you check this render region. So they will just render inside the um, camera view. And yeah, that was pretty much it. There's pretty basic stuff for Blender, but other than that, just render it out as a PNG sequence on alpha channel. So if I go into my compositing, make sure you have all these checked alpha. And yeah, and that was it. Uh, if you guys want to have a look at the materials, I could just show you that quickly. So let's go here. Yeah, these are my materials here. I just applied for each one. So my windshield, my body, 
So let's go back into After Effects and see how we can composite this. Okay, so let's go ahead and composite our plane. So be sure to have your color depth to 32 bits per channel. Let's make a new comp. I'm going to call this plane composite. And hit OK. Now let's import our sequence inside here. And I'm going to pre compose this. I'm going to call this plane. Hit OK. And I'm going to insert our clouds background image here. So I'm just going to maybe just scale this up a bit. Just move it along here. Okay. Like that. So we get our plane here. Now I'm going to add a hue and saturation effect. I'm just going to brighten, tone this up a bit and maybe just drop this to like minus three. Okay. And I'll just add a curves adjustment and give this a bit of contrast here. Take away some red. Add some blue. Okay, and that's it for the clouds. Let's go ahead and add a let's add a tint effect first. Let me drop that down to 30% for our plane. Add a curves adjustment. And I'm gonna brighten this up. So I just brighten this up here. Like that. Take away some red. Add in some blue. Like that. Maybe just put in some red back in there. And so now I want to duplicate this plane. And we'll call this highlights. Okay, and we'll delete these two effects. We'll get the set matte effect. And we'll get the luminance for this. Grab the curves and just crush some of that. Up. And we'll add a glow to this. And just, maybe just bring this down a bit and just spread that glow out. Maybe to like 600. Like that, and just bring that up. Changes to A and B colors as well. That. Okay, and might even add a curves adjustment just to give this a little bit of a boost. Okay, like that. And we'll set this to screen. So we have this nice highlight happening here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and maybe we can add our grunge dirt over here. And we'll set this to screen. And I'm just gonna draw the mask in this area. Hit F, feather it out. Okay. And we might even give this a boot, bit of a boost. Okay, like that. Okay, and I'm going to make a new solid. Call this Sun. Get the optical flares effect. And we'll go into the options here. And I might just make this a little bit yellow and just solo the glow here and just like maybe add a um maybe like a lens texture something like that or maybe 
Looks pretty good. And we'll just uh, increase the scale for this. And okay. Maybe we can make our glow a little bit more. On the yellowish side, like that, and hit OK. Oh, let's move across here and we'll set this to screen. Okay, now we can trip this scale down to maybe like fifty percent. Okay, like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and make two adjustments. Control Y, Control Y. And we'll call this, actually, we'll make another third one. And we'll first, we'll call this vignette. We'll call this one CC. And we'll give this a camera blur. Okay, so sign with the blur. Just want to add a camera lens blur. Seven, and we'll just draw the mask around this area. Subtract it, hit F, feather it out. We have about a hundred pixels. Okay, we'll do add a something like that. Don't click the mask tool. Subtract that. Hit F, further it out, and we'll add a tint. So we'll desaturate this, and we'll add a glow to this. Drop this to 0 0.05, and just tighten this up. Just spread that out as well. Maybe we'll add a unsharp mask, then a curves adjustment. We'll just give this a bit of a contrast look here. And we'll take away some red, add in some blue tones to this, like that. And we'll add a bit of a noise. I'll make this about 3%. So it looks like that. I might position this cloud into a better. Just looking around here. Just trying to see which one's the best looking one. Maybe this one. Just scale it up a little more. Like that. Get those clouds in. Okay, and with the plane here, I might just add a bit of red back into this. Like that. Okay, so I'm just hit trim my comp here. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, not looking too bad. You can even add a little bit of position keyframes to this. So maybe position here, move it along, and then maybe just like, might make this like a 3D layer. Just push it back. Like that. So just give it a bit of parallax with the 3D camera. Uh, 3D image, sorry. Uh, might change a bit of my highlight here. So let's have a look here. Let's bring that up a bit. Like that. And just drag that down a bit. Okay. And might just adjust this color here to make it a bit more realistic. So I 
like that. Okay. Um, might just spread out this one shot mask. Like that. And just adjust this contrast. Like that. So. Okay. So let's just do one final preview. Okay. Let's check it out. Nice. All right, so that's the end of the tutorial, guys. Um, yeah, I'm glad to be back on the channel making tutorials for you guys. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations. Please give a like if you like this video so people can find it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And be sure to hit that bell button to get the notifications. And comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you in the next video.